Fred Hubbard, our director of the nonprofit organization, uh, came up with the idea of having a bat house. And the reason he did that was he went to school at the University of Florida up in Gainesville, and they had bat houses up there. And what we decided to do was if we were going to do a bat house, we would do a real large major bat house. So what's going on here is we're building the biggest bat house in South Florida. We're building it out of poured concrete with reinforcement bars in it. It's going to be a multi-story structure. We're hoping to attract all different kinds of bats. There's about seven or eight or nine native bats, one of which is extremely rare and endangered, called the bonneted bat. And we're going to have areas within the bat house for all those different types of bats. And believe it or not, the bat house, according to what I understand, should hold a few hundred thousand bats. Not just, you know, hundreds, but hundred thousand bats. So it's going to be very interesting, and we can't wait to see the newest arrivals when the bat house is finished in about a month. The bat house was a crucial part that we had been thinking about for a while. And we had some bat surveying done a few years ago by the local bat squad. So they were out here, they did some bat surveys at night, and. And we do know that there are a, there's a critically endangered species called the Florida bonneted bat. And the problem is that these bats, they have like 800, well, varying people tell me varying things, but the number's as low as 800 actual individuals of this species. But the reality is they don't know because there's not enough work that's been done on them. But the bat house, which we wasn't really on our radar, it was gonna be on our radar in five years, kind of got moved up really quick due to Hurricane Irma. In doing that, I reached out to the University of Florida, which, which has their bat houses, bat houses which are actually inhabited. And that took some time, but they've managed to get it down to a science. And then I also talked, spoke with uh, Frank Ridgely over at the Miami Zoo, who's a bat specialist. And he was kind enough to come out and look at how we already started our construction and and gave me some advice on, you know, how we can make it habitable for more than one species. Bats are, get a bad reputation, you know, as ugly animals, but they are very, very important in the environment. They eat tons of insects every night, and mosquitoes. We hate mosquitoes in Florida, but they are not going anywhere. So protecting them and helping bats uh, is gonna help in the long, term to have less problems with Zika. We are creating an a extensive, a very long pond where the bats can fly over and do their hunting. Uh, specifically thinking about that friend of us, the bats.